Well, hello, my YouTube family. Is it really just only Tuesday? Like, seriously, it's really just only Tuesday? Well, at least it's Tuesday and it's 539. Just turned 539. And I am home. I am home. But it's only Tuesday. That's a damn shame. Because in, in these two days, I felt like I've already worked. A month. Okay. Well, hello, my YouTube family. Uh, let us talk about lips of the day. That's what we're here for, right? Okay, let's get on with it. We start off with the liner. And it is an NYX rose brown lined. Anfield is one of my newbies. I got it from Amazon. Because I saw it on the YT, of course. And I said, oh, I have to have that. And thankfully, Amazon had it for me. So here it is. It's supposed to be a collaboration with J-Lo. It's a L'Oreal collection, the star collection, one of these. And that's the shade right there. Oh, my God. It's so fabulous. It's called Barely Mocha. But Mocha is spelled M-O-K-A. So I don't know who that's supposed to be. I don't know. But um, the formulation of this lipstick is phenomenal. That is the shade. It's a little darker than what it's showing. And it's got a nice sheen of its own. Here it is. There it is. I don't know. It's it's not really a my lips, but better because you can. It's not a nude nude, but I guess you could put it in the nude category. I just I just love it. Oh my god. It's so smooth. It's creamy and it's very very nice. And it's a stick to your lips. It doesn't really fade fade off that badly. I'll give this about no lie five hours. Before you start to feel like maybe it's coming off. But that is it right there. Barely Mocha. M-O-K-A. Ooh. L'Oreal Paris. It's in the Star Collection. And it looks like this. It is so pretty. It's so pretty. Me like it a lot, honey. Oh, I love this. Mmm. I mean, it might wash me out a little, but you know what? I don't care. I just like it. Maybe I need a darker liner. I thought the rose brown would do. Yeah, I, I'm going to need a darker liner. A darker liner just might work. Oh, well, to be continued. You know I'll wear this again. Since I love it so. Okay, so that is it, people. <sighs> when I tell you I slept like a rock last night, I knew I was gonna. I knew I was gonna. And it felt so good, people. It really felt so very, very good. <sighs> I'm just trying to figure out. I think my supervisor hates me. Like, she just doesn't like me as a person. I don't know. I'm beginning to take it personally. I really shouldn't. Because she is not worth a thought. But there was a delivery. No, it wasn't a delivery. It was the, um, the guy that picks up the shredder. He wanted to clean out the shredders. So he needed somebody to open up the, the back door or something. And he said, can you either get somebody to open the back door for me or do I have to walk around? So I said, well, let me, let me ask my supervisor. She has somebody in her office, but I needed, the, I needed to know because I wasn't going to tell him, wait, because she has somebody in her office. No. So I stood at the doorway and she looks up and I said, the so-and-so company uh, would like to know if 
he can get somebody to open up the back door or does he have to walk around? And she goes, he'll either have to wait or do you want to open the door for him? Just like that. I said, no. She said, okay then. And kept on talking to the person. Like, I guess I was dismissed. Like, what is her problem? I really, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Maybe I disappoint her in some kind of way. You know what? I'm not going to lose sleep over this bitch. I, I came up with a new name for her. And I really thought I wasn't ever going to touch this name because of a supervisor, well, a sales manager when I was in the radio station. Bitchmeister General. I'm sure I've mentioned that, that title before. That was that bitch's name. I think I'm going to call my supervisor Bitchmeister Supervisor. Kind of has a nice little Bitchmeister Supervisor. Bitch, It kind of goes, you know. So, yeah, Bitchmeister Supervisor. I think that's what I'm going to call her from now on. Because I don't understand. I don't understand what her issue is. And if she has an issue with me, shouldn't we discuss it? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. If I'm doing something wrong, I would imagine she would call me into her office so she could ream me a new asshole. But she hasn't done that. So what's the problem? I come in on time. I leave at 5 o'clock. I'm not staying any longer than I need to because I do that on Friday. So, again, what's the problem? I'm not going to. Maybe she just maybe she just woke up and realized, you know what? I really don't like Nancy. I can't help that. But you can't fire me because you just don't like me. Can 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 people get fired for that? I'm sure they have, but it's been it's been covered up by another excuse. So like the last supervisor that I had, that little weasel, I'm sure that's the reason why she fired me. But you know what? Just keep doing what you're doing, Nancy. Do it to the best of your ability. Don't make any waves. I have not. I am trying so desperately to stay under the radar, and I think I'm doing a pretty damn good job of it. I come in. I don't really even talk to anybody. I keep to myself. I'm not a social butterfly. I don't go department to department. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? No, that's not. That's so not me. I come in. I stay in my reception area. If I have to go to another department for, you know, whatever reason, then I do so. But that's it. That is it. That is all. You are not going to get anything else out of me. Okay? I come in. I do my work. Everything that you ask me to do, I do. I do it before the end of the day. I get things done, you know, quickly, but neatly, you know. Whatever, whatever needs to be done, I'm there. I answer the phones, I answer questions, and if I don't have the answer, I'll get somebody to answer the question for you. What is the problem? She's just a really cold fish. That's truly what she is. A cold, ice queened fish. Bitchmeister supervisor. Yep, that's her name. Not that extended, but you know. We'll just nip it to Bitchmeister Supervisor and leave it at that. That's it. That's all, people. Um, I did have something else come with the lipstick. I think it came yesterday. Well, yeah, they came yesterday. Duh. And it's, I think, I, did I show you this? The NYX Intense Butter Gloss in... Toasted marshmallow. I, I told you about this already, didn't I? So it didn't come yesterday. It came a couple of days ago. I've got things coming. Um, I bought, I had two people because I miss, you know, when you miss a scent of a perfume that you, you've used in the past and it was like one of your favorite scents and for some reason you just 
I can't say you couldn't get it. You just didn't get it again. Well, you know, I don't do shopping. I don't, I don't really do the mall. I don't do the mall. I don't, I don't even do Dwayne Reed or Walgreens. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll just order it on Amazon and then be done with it. Let it come to me. Why do I have to go to it? Well, I found Moonlight Path, but it's a soft body butter. It's not like a hardened cream. It's a soft body butter. I cannot wait. They were selling like three for three for 20 or something. And I bought all three. But then I saw a list of all the other soft body butters that they had. There is a scent. I don't, I've never smelt it, but I saw the, the, the notes and, and the scent the, the, of what it is. That's going to be my next order. I'm going to be bot, but, body buttered up for this entire winter in beautiful, beautiful scents. Okay, so I've got the Moonlight Path Soft Body Butter. It's a Bath and Body Works now. Coming to me. Uh, next paycheck, this Friday, I've got to order the next one. And the next one is called Cashmere something. I know it's Cashmere cashmere cream or cashmere something like that and then it's the scent of white amber jasmine and it's that third one it's the third note third i don't know if it's a no it's not a floral it's a i think it's vanilla or something it is all I know is I saw the description and I said, oh my God, amber, I think it's musk and vanilla or something like that, or almond, amber, and white musk. All I know is the three notes that I saw of the, the, of the scent are my favorites. So I know, I know that this body butter has got to be smelling super duper fantastic. I'm going to order those. Oh, hell to the year. Don't nobody talk to me. I, I need to treat myself, people. Because with the, with the people that I have to deal with at work, I need something. Something to come home to other than my beautiful cat. Who is, um... Oh, there you go. He's not sleeping. Oh. I thought he was sleeping. He's not sleeping. Yes, and I had to put my hair up. I know it looks like a, a hot mess. It's really not. It's just I had to put my hair up. Because they claimed today was going to rain in the morning and then the sun would come out and it would be 50 degrees. I'm still waiting. It's 552. And it's wet. It's not raining anymore, but it's wet outside. And as for the 52 degrees, where's that? It was going to be 50 degrees or 52 degrees. Well, it's 552. That's why I said 52. But it was supposed to be 50, 50 degrees. It didn't warm up for nothing. I don't think it got above 45, if that. So that's why the hair is up. Because when I went to work this morning, it was raining. Oh, before I forget, I don't think you guys will be seeing me on Friday because after work, I'm going to a family dinner, but not with everybody. It's like the youngins, uh, cousins. And we're going to meet at, um, my, one of my cousin's house who lives like near where I work. So it's really going to be a hop, skip and a jump. So it should be fun. So don't expect to see me on Friday. Okay, so that's really basically it in a nutshell. It's kind of a boring video today. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I love the lipstick. I just need a different liner. Yeah, that's, that's it. I just need a different liner. Other than that, I love the shade. I love the formula. Oh, my God. This, this L'Oreal, and I'm really not fond of L'Oreal. And sometimes L'Oreal has a funky scent. And this... This lipstick doesn't have a scent at all. 
maybe it's because it's a it's a it's a combination with JLo. I don't know. It's, it's a collab with JLo. That's what I read. Whatever. It's not because of JLo. Maybe she looks good in this shade. I don't know. All I know is I saw the shade on a video. And I said, I have to have that. And I have that. So there you have it. Okay. That is it. That is all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? God willing. I'll talk to you tomorrow, people. Mwah. Bye now.